This is the ITV News at 10 with Julie Etchingham and Mark Austin. The Bank of England decided again today to keep the base rate at half a percent. The decision comes as world economists at the OECD predict stalling growth among all the major economies. Our own ITV News Cuts Index highlights concern about a double dip recession. To assess the response to the gloomy predictions, our business editor Laura Kunzberg has been to Leeds. In the heady heights of the boom, Leeds laid claim to be the second biggest centre for finance outside London. But with warnings the economy could again be on the way down, what's the view from here? Andy Clark went from stacking shelves to being the boss of one of the country's biggest firms. At as does Leeds HQ, he told me customers' cash is getting tight. People find it difficult sometimes to remember back whether it's five years or ten years, they think about what happened last year. And versus last year, you know, customers have got less money in their pockets than they had a year ago. And that's what counts. Around the corner, shoppers are changing their habits, using cash, not credit, spreading spending through the month. Three generations of Leeds shoppers told me their concerns. I've got just gone back to work part-time. I didn't plan to go back till I was a year old, but with the prices going up, I've gone back a bit earlier so that I can afford to pay for the food more. The budget that we have... Uh, it used to go a lot further last year and the year before. I'm worried about the younger people of this country because of my grandchildren. I'm just worried where it will all lead. Target components did well through the recession, selling computer parts to small firms. But the boss told me in 13 years he's never seen trade so flat. I think in terms of the, the real economy, in terms of the money in people's pockets, it will get worse before it gets better. In terms of uh, the actual GDP and whether we slide back into recession, that could be affected by how well the financial sector does, which has a big impact. But, but from shoppers feeling the pinch at the checkout to the concerns of businesses here in Leeds Smart City Centre, how widespread are the worries? Well, with the help of the ITV News Cuts Index, we've been tracking your hopes and fears for the economy for nearly a year. When we started, only 38% of people worried there might be a second recession. Now, 55% of people expect there will be a double dip when the economy shrinks again. And as a result, 53% of people are already cutting back on their spending. And one in three, 33%, fears there will be more job cuts at their place of work this year than last. And perhaps not surprisingly, more people now are worried about their own shaky financial future, with 61% feeling less confident about their wallet than six months ago. But does the man in charge of the nation's books think there'll be a double dip? The real issue here is the big overhang of public and private debt. Uh, and unfortunately, the recovery from this uh, is slower and takes longer than recoveries from other kinds of recessions. So in Leeds, as in the rest of the country, how much slower and how much longer just can't be known. Laura Kunzberg, ITV News, Leeds.